Hello Taurus, welcome to your What You Need to Know Today reading. Let's go ahead and find out what Taurus needs to know today. What does Taurus need to know today? What does... Ooh. Ah, I really wanted to see what that was. I saw it in the corner of my eye. Ooh, that's nice. Ah, oh, okay. Let's see what pops up anyway. Spirit, tell me more about this thief. So thief is really about uh, drainage, taking away. Now this is an interesting card. I'll tell you why. Um, so the truth is that the boy is innocent and the lady who's laughing is actually the thief. So it's kind of a drainage and stressful situation because someone has been wrongly done by him. Okay, so let's go ahead and see further into this. Tell me more about this. Thank you. Long term. And what guidance do you have? Main mail. All right. So what is the fear spirit for Taurus? Uh, enemy. Okay. And enemy and thief are obviously very challenging situation. Okay. Now what is long term? Disappointment being offered. So someone's been basically offering you something that's been disappointing for a really long time and it and it's been challenging okay so tell me about main mail for my taurus okay so pining for pining Longing, craving, okay, good intentions, all right. This is someone that you can trust. With the faithful card, it, they're a good person, this person, all right. You can, you can trust them. This is a good person. However, there's another situation going on here that is challenging for a long time and it's been, you know, offering you disappointments. I need to look into that for you, Taurus, and see what this is actually saying. So why has Taurus been offered disappointment? Um, this is wise guidance. Tell me more about this for Taurus. To decide. So Spirit's guidance is... Wise guidance is to make a decision. What is this decision? About the niggling nuisance, basically, with the mice, okay? And I think this is the niggling nuisance here that the feminine has. So it's really, if you're the Taurus feminine, uh, it's really important for you to make a decision, okay? Regarding... Uh, what what this is, you know, and what's been offered to you for a long time. You need to actually make a choice. That's what Spirit's saying here. There is a main male around you that is actually hanging out for you, like really longing for you. They ha are loyal and they have good intentions. So I'm going to look into this person for you, Taurus. Now, if you're the main male... Okay, you can take this vice versa. Currently making a decision. And what is this decision that the male is making? I feel this is going to be financial for some reason. Knight of Wands wants to come and visit as the King of Wands. All right, the master of his passions. So the Knight of Wands wants to come in visit you, spend time with you. Uh, they can only come sometimes 
They're making some pretty heavy duty serious decisions with two of swords and they want to come as the king. Okay. So if you're the the king, the one that wants to come to your feminine, then take it as you want to go see your feminine. Let's see how she feels. <clears throat> we have she feels stuck. She's like, I don't know what to do. Tell me more about this, about the feminine. Why is she stuck? Okie dokie. Because the king of wands ended something. She's got her hands tied because the king of wands either ended something or is ending with her. The king of wands is ended with the death card. But the king of wands wants to ride in and he's making a decision about this. So it's almost like two completely different perceptions. She thinks it's over and he still wants to come in and he's missing her. Tell me why does she, why does the feminine think it's over with the king of wands? Why does the feminine think it's over? Because a meeting is stuck, stagnant. Three of Cups is let's get together, have a drink or catch up and, you know, enjoy each other's company is actually paused and she's conflicted and imbalanced. All right. What about for him? What is the situation for the masculine? What is the situation for the masculine? So she thinks it's over and he's standing his ground about... I think, um, Ace of Pentacles uh, and Queen of Swords. He's making an offer to the Queen of Swords. So Taurus Feminine, you might be the Queen of Swords. You might be uh, approaching this masculine with your sword saying, yeah, but something, whatever happened. Um, and you might want him to prove himself. He's making a solid offer with the pentacles, okay? So let's look into this and see. What is the ace of pentacles? The hermit, Virgo, and the hangman is Pisces, in case that's important. We have emperor, Aries and Virgo. Now... It doesn't have to be those zodiac signs. Emperor is someone who's taking control of spending their time alone in isolation or solitude, seeking enlightenment. So the masculine, he really just wants to take control of his time alone. Okay. And he's making a solid offer to the queen. Why is the queen approaching with her sword? Uh, because five of pentacles reversed, queen of cups. So, um, five of pentacles reversed means coming out of a difficult situation, queen of cups. His offer to the queen of swords is going to change things so she won't approach him as the sword she'll approach him as the cup his solid offer is going to change everything once this um, main male if you're the main male once you make this solid offer to the the queen the feminine who is approaching with the sword first uh, it's going to change her around five of pentacles reversed. She's going to become the queen of cups towards you. She's going to show her loving side towards you. Okay, so let's keep going and find out more. Spirit, tell me more about this for my Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? By the way, Taurus, if you like my reading, please click like. And if you'd like to support my channel, please subscribe. Watch my channel grow with me. I appreciate it very much. 
and if you don't want to miss a reading don't forget you can click that notification bell we have past love something in the past what happened in the past i think this is in the past someone was hurt and neglected and offered breadcrumbs and so they're very wary now we have work twin flame ooh past life connection <gasps> oh my gosh somebody wants to work on a twin flame and past life connection past love for some of you taurus you have a past love returning queen of swords might be an ex what <laughs> Wow, that's beautiful. So what's happening with this twin flame past love? Could also be, you know, the two separate energies, past love and your twin flame past life connection. We have forgiving and learning, strong attraction, let your friends help you, unrequited love wants to reconcile because they have romantic feelings and it leads to another separation a different separation so there's two letting go of one because you've got your twin flame coming through wow wow so taurus forgiving and learning you're going to reconcile with someone who you thought it wasn't going to work out with and you're going to let go of a new person to reconcile with another one who is actually your twin flame returning. Oh my, Taurus, let me know how this resonates, what this means to you. If you would like a personal reading, you can always reach out to me. My information is in the description box below. And as always, I send you love, peace and light. Bye for now.